Hello, Mike German from Visual Animations. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are. Welcome to day eight of Fun in 4. These are four minute quick tips done in Cinema 4D. Um, I've done seven. We're doing the whole of March. So there'll be 31 in total covering all sorts of different techniques. Trying to use most of the fun, brilliant bits that cinema has over these 31 videos. So we're here on Tuesday, day eight, and today quite different from the ones we've done before, because I want these to be different. I don't want to have the same one every day, the same type every day. So this is another completely different style. And this, I'll just run this and show you what we're doing. So this is a, as you can see, a living room scene and it has a TV on the wall with a movie playing. Okay, so that is what we're going to be doing is, is getting a, a movie, an AVI file, um, an, an MP4, whatever it is. Um, we're going to get it playing within your scene. So we're not going to be creating this scene. This scene is available on Sketchfab. There'll be a link below the video to grab this particular scene if you want to use the same one. If not, any scenes available on there or any other 3D um, website where you can grab models from. But Sketchfab is particularly good. If you if you become a free member of Sketchfab, you can grab these, um, these free models. There, there are paid ones on there and there are free ones. And especially if you're learning, training, great to just go and grab one of these free ones and use at home and, and practice with. So link below the video to this. Uh, so what we're going to be doing is, is, is just getting a video that you already have. And we're going to be dropping that video onto a material um, and then having it on the screen. And then we're going to be adding a, um, a glow on a luminance channel, um, a, an area light as well, which will kind of illuminate the room and also a bit of flicker. So quite a few things to do. So. I'm going to start with this before we do the four minutes. Did I? No, it wasn't, was it? Yesterday's wasn't four minutes either. I don't think I'm ever going to do four minutes. I should have called this course just cinema quick tips in whatever time they're going to be. You know, I, I really find it difficult to, <laughs> to, to get these into four minutes. But let's have a coffee and then let's see how close we can do, get this one to four minutes. Okay. Let's start. So what we do is we close this and here is our scene, right? And we need to add a TV working to this TV on the wall here. So how do we do it? Right, what we do is we go over here where it says, and I, I may have renamed these. So when you download this from Sketchfab, you probably just have to order these, rename them. But I've renamed this particular part, the TV, okay? Um, then what you need to do is when you've got the TV highlighted, click on the center panel, okay? Because this is the bit where the where the text is gonna be added to, okay? Now, what you can do, just before we do the texture, I'll just show you. If you take any one of these materials here, and if we drag it to that area and let go, that will give us the place where we want the screen, you know, where we want, where we want the, sorry, I can't talk, <laughs> where we want the movie to play. Okay, so just undo that. But that's that's just to really highlight where it's going. So we need to create a movie material. Quite easily, what we do is we just go to the plus here. So we get a blank material. And then we go here and we turn off color and reflectance. And we turn on luminance and glow. Now on the luminance channel, under texture, we need to navigate to um, an AVI file, an MP4, something like that. Something you've probably got on your phone or stored on your computer, something that you can use as a, as a movie. You can even make one in cinema, which is what I'm gonna do here, is what I've done, is made one in cinema and I'm gonna use it on the screen on here. So if I go, Let's go back to some little films I've made. Let's have a look at a Star Wars film, um, short films. Let's just put this trench run um, 
film that I've done. So let's drop that in the path. So that's now made, if you have a look up here, that's made this um, texture, sorry, texture, um, material using the movie clip. Okay, now if we, if we click on that and you would go to animation, we've got control now over whether we want to put the whole movie on here because it says here the movie starts at zero frames and it ends at 1931. Now, our frames on our, our scene here are 500. So we could type in 500 here and then we know it'll only run for that time. Um, you can do all sorts here. You can loop and ping pong the images. So if you've got quite a short little clip or something, you can have it loop in or you can have it going to the end and going backwards and forwards or you can just have it running normally. So you've got a little bit of control here. Um, you can type in the frames, the seconds, the range, everything. But this has created a, a, a material with a video on there. So it's really super cool. It's a super um, little feature. Because now we've got that, um, let's just go back to so yeah, that's on the Luminance channel, and then we've got the glow. Now the glow will just give it a little bit of kind of fuzziness and glow to the edges. Um, we can up the random, which will just kind of flicker a little bit here, but that's not where we're getting the main flicker from. So we can just put that in there, probably put some frequency in as well, up that, probably the same. And all we do now, now we've got the texture, we can just, now this is already highlighted, what we did before, we can just drag that onto there. Okay, and as you can see, it's already in position. Now you may, now if I just play this through, and then just do a quick screen render. As you can see, it's chopped a bit of it off, right? It's not always gonna just come in exactly on that square. So you do have to just mess around here with the length, the offset. So you've got the, the offset and the length. So what we need to do is just, if you just click off that and click on there, if we have a look now at the, the length here, though, if we drag that over, and then move this, we'll see that it's a little bit too big for the screen. So we just need to come in like this and do, you can do this manually. And we just want that to be, you can actually do it easier, I suppose, if we look straight on at it. What we're trying to do is just get that to sit within that frame. So when we go to this view, let's just do a quick render. It fits within the screen, okay? So just bear that in mind. Sometimes it will come in and you need to just mess with these offsets and lengths just to get the, um, the movie to fit. So that part is as simple as that. You're just creating a texture with your movie file, dropping that texture on any plane surface polygon within your scene and it will play it you won't see it playing until you render the scene so we've got 500 frames if we render that whole thing that movie will play in in the scene now what i did on the example i showed you is i added another little feature which which just puts a little bit of flicker and light into the scene that you would expect from a tv so the way to do that is adding an area light which is going to cause the flicker so you simply go to light or hang on yeah go to light add an area light which drops it down here just lift that up into the scene here um, and what we do now we leave the light there and we right click on it and we're going to add a little bit of espresso okay don't worry about this it's just two nodes linking one to another very very simple so go to light go to programming go to espresso we drag the light in here and then we search here for noise okay and the noise is what's going to generate this kind of flickering when we find noise here just drag that in and this little circle here we just need to click on it drag this little wire out to the blue and let go and then go down to general and intensity and on here you'll see the noise operator which is opened now we need to just put in a figure of say 10 for frequency that'll be how much it flickers um, to match the tv uh, kind of similar to the tv style and then the amplitude i would say about five 
and then also check this positive only so it only gets brighter and it doesn't get um, dimmer through the scene okay on the not on the area light sorry if we go to details um, we're on rectangle it's fine we go to fall off here and choose inverse square and then let's take that down to about 50 so it's not going to be too bright in the scene now if we just have a quick um, render of that I just want to see if we've got okay let's just try a few frames let's just render it out a bit longer because you have to have it render out so you can see how the flickers working if you just do one snapshot you're not really going to see that but if you let, if we let this render for a bit it should be quick I mean obviously I've gone over four minutes again um, but I just want to show you what happens here if uh, with this light flickering with the espresso tag on it it will give you a, a sense that the TV is actually illuminating the light into the room I don't know if we've got enough here let's just rewind it and just see what it's doing yeah you can see that effect on there if we leave it a bit longer you'll see but what it's, what it's doing is it's just in it's just flickering this area of light around in the room okay so it's going for, say 100 percent, 150 dropping down between up to 200 300 and it's just varying which is kind of it's not what the tv is actually emitting but it, it's fooling the eye to say that's kind of what you'd expect in a room with a tv on um so it's doing that look okay you can see it on the sofa because it's got this kind of um, reflectance material on there and it gives you that kind of feel okay play around with that um, until you get the right feel from the TV but I hope this has been useful I'm sorry again it's gone over four minutes I really don't know why I've called the feature four minute um, quick tips um, I'll see you tomorrow what are we up to now are we on are we on day nine or ten I'm, I'm losing track I'm hope, by the end on day 31 I think I'm going to be exhausted um, anyway my name is Mike German visual animations I will speak to you tomorrow take care goodbye for now